Hi everyone, it's Justine. Scarves are a great accessory to play with and it can help you add volume or not to your silhouette if you want to. Let me show you a few ways of tying a scarf, apart from the basic one that you see every day on the street. I'm using a rectangular scarf of one by two meters and if then I need to make a square out of it, I fold it in two. What you see here is one side of a square. I'll start with a rectangle, so I unfold it completely. For the first look, I put the middle of the rectangle onto my head. I make a loose knot and then I fold the part that's on my head over onto my shoulders. That gives volume to the top. It's perfect to add volume to your shoulders if you're a pure shape. Quite chic. The next one is called a snake. I make one circle around my neck in the length of my rectangular scarf, not too loose, and then I go inside and out, inside and out, all around the first loop. Not too tight, because it's getting tighter as you go. <laughs> you need to breathe. And at the end, you have something that looks like a statement necklace. The next one is very easy. It's just making an infinity loop out of a rectangle. You make a double knot at the extremities and then loop it with a twist around your neck. Put it in place, you're done. The next one is Hollywood Glamour. It works perfect for an evening dress, for instance. It's just about draping the scarf around your elbows, leaving space for the arms to move behind your back. So it's not tight in the back. For the next one, fold the two sides into the middle so that you won't see the edges afterwards. Put it around your neck, one side is shorter. On the other side, make sure the edges stay in the middle. You can pin them together if you wish, and then just wrap loosely around your neck. You can hold all of that together with a brooch placed strategically on one side. The bigger the brooch, the better. That one is a hidden knot. One loop around your neck, not too tight, then make a knot that's tighter and wrap the first loop over the knot so that you don't see it anymore. It's invisible and it looks neat and tidy. This one is called the European way for some reason. Fold the scarf in two in its length the extremities go through the loop, pull tight, arrange, done. The next one is called a fake knot because it's still sliding. Take one extremity, make a knot, don't pull tight yet, then make the other extremity of the scarf go through that hole and then pull tight. Loose if you want it casual, a bit tighter if you want it more chic. That's my way, <laughs> winter in Berlin way. One loop around the neck, knot on top, it's windproof, waterproof, your neck is protected, trust me. That's the Caribbean pario going to the beach way. Wrap yourself into the rectangle taken completely unfolded, cross in front of you, pull tighter a couple of times as you go, and in the end, tie it behind your neck with a double knot. If you pull it tight enough, it's really just like a dress and you can wear that, not just at the beach. Now making a square or a triangle. I start with a square. I join two sides into one knot. And the other side as well. That gives me a little basket. And if the knots are made double, then it's actually a bolero, a nice and drapey one. I can put it on, drape it nicely, hide the knots behind your arms. It's nice and drapey from the back. It looks flowy. That's cool over a dress. For this one, I roll the upper part of my triangle to make the end a little bit smaller. I wrap this around my neck, go around my back, come back to the front, make a knot. That's the cowboy look. For the next one, I finish rolling my triangle completely. I wrap that around my neck, give it one turn, and then I tie it on one side. That's the 50s look. It's flowy, it's feminine, and it goes very well with the crisp white shirt. For the next one, I wrap it around my neck, but tie it at the back. The longer the scarf, the better here. It's 20s glamour. Imagine that with a back-free dress. The next one is good for warm climates or if you're going on holiday. Put the triangle on your head, low on your forehead, and tie it at the back of your head tight. Make sure the triangle protects your neck. That one is another way to make a top, probably more beach appropriate than city ready. Tie the triangle in your back. Make sure if you have any pattern that it's aligned. And in my case, I have a pointy pattern and a point in front of me. So I want that to be exactly centered. 
That one is probably the most casual one I know. It's great to style up just a simple t-shirt in a contrasted color. I like the ends to be longer than the triangle in the middle, so I always pull at the end. If I do the opposite, I want the triangle to be longer. I take my two short ends and tie them underneath the triangle. It gives it full volume, but it's not gonna fall down because it's tied by a double knot. And that nice volume is called a waterfall. For the next one, I roll my triangle completely and I use that as a belt. But instead of closing it in the front, like I would do with a belt, I tie it a little bit on one side. I make a double knot to make sure it holds well. And that's a great way to style up any summer outfit. I also wear scarves around my wrists. The last one is just a nice flowy accessory for a purse, tied to the buckle or to a handle, and you're good to go. This purse is a bit small, I'd use a bigger one for that scarf size. I was going for 10 ways to wear a scarf. I ended up with a few more. By the time you see this video, maybe I will have thought of even more ways. If so, I will share them on Instagram, so have a look there. Thumbs up if you enjoy styling videos like this one, and what would you want me to style next? I'll see you Sunday and Wednesday, as every week. Until then, happy scarf tying. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>